It's Kaylee. I'm really excited to film this video because I love skincare. And this video is going to be my skincare routine and my everyday makeup routine. I was gonna do it in two videos, but I was like, it's easier just to put it in one video, so. So this is my skin just getting out of the shower. I have no product on my skin right now at all. So what I'm going to do first for my skin is I'm going to put a face mask on. It's a matcha tea face mask. It's not one like you, it's not like a face mask you buy. I'll show you. You have to make it. But this face mask has been my holy grail lately. It cleans out your pores so well. It's, it's so good. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that really quick. back with the face mask so while it's still warm I like to put it on my face just with like any old makeup brush um, I need a mirror. <laughs> so I just pretty much have this on until it dries, like until it's like completely hardened. Um, I'll let you know how long it is. I don't, I don't really, hold on, let me put my hair back. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna let this dry. While I'm letting it dry, I'm going to explain like what my skin has gone through. Um, I started getting acne probably around seventh grade, and I have acne-prone skin from both sides of my family, like genetic-wise or whatever. My mom has it and my dad had it. So I still, my face is way better than it used to be. I'll put up pictures of what my skin used to look like. It used to be pretty bad, like I would be embarrassed to go out without having makeup on it and it was bad to put makeup on top of it and just made it worse. Now, I rarely even go out with makeup. If I have like a little red spot, I'll put makeup on it, but I don't even wear that much makeup anymore. Things I do to help my skin are, one, I try my hardest not to intake dairy. Dairy is so bad for my skin. I know other people say it's bad for their skin too. I don't know the science behind it, but all I know is that if I have dairy, my skin is going to break out. And dairy just is bad for me anyways. It makes my stomach hurt. I try to steer away from it as much as I can, but you know, ice cream is really good. And so is like frappuccinos and pizza and you know, all that stuff. So yeah, another tip that I have is your freaking pillowcases. If you're not washing your pillowcases once or twice a week, try it. Try that and see if your face gets better. So now I wash my pillowcases once a week and my skin completely changed. I didn't have as many blackheads. Trust me, my face is not that bad. I'm a little complainer. Like, my face is not bad at all. I know I have it way easier than a lot of other people. The acne is just one of my biggest insecurities and I think I've gotten better with it over the years. Have I not been focused this whole time? Am I in focus? No. Why is it focusing on that? Focus on me. So I'm gonna let this dry. So I'll be back when it's off. And yeah, it's dry. So I'm gonna go rinse it off and then I'll be right back again. <laughs> so this is my face after I am all done with the face mask. So after I wash my face with um, Cetaphil, just the normal facial cleanser, and then after I wash my face with that, I exfoliated with my daily exfoliant, and it's the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. This stuff, best facial scrub I've ever used. Um, it's like the perfect amount of 
like scrubbiness. My favorite moisturizer is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This stuff is so good. It doesn't clog my pores and it moisturizes my face extremely well, but it doesn't leave your face greasy feeling because I hate that when your face is greasy after you put a moisturizer on. But this is my favorite moisturizer ever. That's what it looks like. I forgot to mention at night before I put on my Neutrogena water gel, I will put on my Curology and this helps so much. This is like my holy grail to keeping pimples away. After I do that moisturizer, I take my Benefit Eye Serum and I just do it on the back of my hand. I just do like one pump and I do this because I love under eye creams because my under eyes get like really weird. I don't know, they get really dry sometimes especially in the winter time but i'm tanning a lot in the summer and i want to reduce the wrinkles as much as i possibly can oh my gosh wait i just got my so that's kind of it for my skincare routine it's really not that crazy i've been more high maintenance in the past with it but i find when my skincare routine is more simple it my skin reacts better to it, I don't know. One thing I do wanna mention is a spot treatment. I have two spot treatments that I use. I use the Kiehl's, what is this called? Kiehl's Blue Herbal Spot Treatment. This stuff works really good if you wanna dry out a pimple. And another spot treatment that is very natural and it's like super easy is just tea tree oil. Tea tree oil, just put that on a pimple and in the next few days, it will go away. Those are my two favorite spotman treatments. Spot treat. I cannot talk. Okay, so now we're going to get into the everyday makeup routine, which my everyday makeup routine is very glowy, very, very light. Like when I say, like it's like a no makeup makeup routine, pretty much. If I'm looking over here, it's because there's a mirror right here, and I'm gonna be looking at myself while I put my makeup on. So yeah. Okay, so first things first is I put chapstick on carmex is the best chapstick ever by the way like like look how much of that look at that look at that that's how you know it's a good chapstick when it's almost completely empty first thing that i do for my face is that i take my Too faced hangover primer and i put it on the very high points of my face i don't even use it for like what it's used for i just use it because it makes me look glowy and i just beauty blend that in but it gives you like a really pretty glow and I like it one of my all-time favorite makeup products ever are skin tints I love skin tints and right now I'm obsessed with the Benetint and I put it in the same exact place it makes you glowy too and you can see how much I use it because my beauty blender is stained by it but I just pounce that in and it gives you like a little flush of color and I don't know why but I like the sunburnt look on my face. I feel like it's just cute. Oh. So then I take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have two colors because my face is like mm, a thousand different colors. On my forehead I'll take the darker one. Just pretty much any problematic spots. Just like right there. I just blend out places that I put the concealer on. And then I take my lighter concealer because my face isn't as tan and I put that on any spots that I'm having like, problems with. Okay, so then after I do all my concealer, I go over the spots I use concealer with my Peach per Too, bleh, uh, Too Faced Peach Powder. This powder is the best freaking powder on the planet oh my gosh this stuff works so good i just take like a little blending brush it doesn't really matter what kind of brush to be honest and i go over the spots that i used concealer and kind of just like parts that i don't want to be super oily throughout the day i don't really wear under eye concealer if i do it's usually to like an event or something i don't like wearing under eye concealer because it just creases so quick i just take powder and I go over my, my pore areas and my under eyes 
and it one it brightens and it mattifies your under eyes and it just looks so much more flawless in my opinion so eyebrows i get so many questions on my eyebrows it's insane i get asked do you thread them do you wax them do you do them yourself what do you use like okay I'm gonna clear everything up about my eyebrows right here in this video. I don't get them waxed or threaded. I do them myself. I just tweeze them down here. That's all I do. And I shave right here in the middle sometimes. That's all I do to them. And sometimes I will put product in them. But what I've been doing recently is I've been taking the, the Benefit conditioner, like brow thing that they have, and I just go through them. so bad right now and I don't know why it looks like I'm crying why are they watering so bad my eyebrows are done that's what I that's what I do to them and then if say I want to like wear makeup on my eyebrows like I want them to look snatched I want them to look good I will use the Anastasia brow pencil in taupe that's what I do and I just like line the bottom of them but that's too much work for every day and I don't like doing that. The other thing I get questions on all the time is my eyelashes. I get so many questions on my eyelashes, like what mascara do I use? How do you get your eyelashes so long? Stuff like that. I have been putting castor oil on my eyelashes for years now at nighttime. And that really works. That's how I grew my eyebrows back too, is with castor oil. Castor oil works so good. And if you're having problems with like growing your eyebrows out from just bad experiences, use castor oil. I'm telling you, it looks really good. Um, what I do for my eyelashes is on an everyday, I just curl them and then I put brown brow gel on them because mascara is just like too much for me for an everyday thing. So I don't think I'm going to be doing mascara in this video, but if you guys want me to do mascara, like show you my mascara routine, I can do that. But I don't do that every day, so I'm not going to do that in this video, yeah. And you can just see there, that makes like an extremely big difference. It just opens up your eyes more. Oh my gosh, that is blinding me. Stop it. Okay, so after I curl my eyelashes, I take the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I don't know what color this is in. I don't know what color. It's just like a brown color. And I just go over. This really doesn't do much. Like, at all. But I can tell, like, the tiniest difference. My camera just overheated. Okay, so my very last step is I just take like a really sheer lip tint or just whatever. Well, it really smells like old ladies. I'm kind of done. I know this video probably isn't the most interesting video ever, but everyone's been asking for it. So there you guys go. You guys finally get my skincare and makeup routine. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. If you want more talking videos, please like tell me in the comments. If you want more vlogs, tell me in the comments. Let me know what you guys want because I don't know what you guys want. And thank you to all the new subscribers. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. Cause like, I don't know. I mean, it would be like pretty cool and I would like it. And I know you would like it. Cause I mean, really? How dare you interrupt my outro? Please give this video a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed because that would be pretty cool. Um, anyways, um, 
See ya.